Hi, it's Alan from Crash Desk Security. In this video, I will tell you how to prevent web server information leakage. So let's get started. Obtaining information about the used web server is crucial for any attacker. There may be vulnerabilities in a particular web server version that allow an attacker easy access to the server. Obtaining information about the used web server is crucial for any attacker. There may be vulnerabilities in a certain web server version that allow an attacker easy access to the server. To complicate the information gathering process for attackers, the web server should not provide information about itself, such as its name or version. This scanner addresses the OWASP top 10 vulnerability of using components with known vulnerabilities. While making sure you use the latest version of your web server is crucial, it is an added layer of security if you can prevent attackers from knowing which web server and which version you are running. Apache. To disable the server signature, which usually contains the name and version of an Apache web server, do the following. Open the Apache configuration file on your system. This file is usually located at etc. Apache 2, Apache 2 CONF, Debian, Mint, Ubuntu, etc. HTTPD, Conf, Hatconf, Arch, Fedora, CentOS, RHEL. Depending on the server configuration, there might also be additional configuration files that take care of security configuration, such as, etc., Apache 2, conf enabled, security conf. Apply the following settings of the first screenshot shown in the video. After that, reload the web server configuration as shown in the second screenshot in the video. In addition to the server signature, Apache version 2.2 has another feature that can leak its version. A header image for the standard installation contains the version information. The problematic image S are usually located in user share Apache 2 icons. They are linked to being publicly available as icons B and alias configuration. To stop them from being delivered, edit the configuration file, etc. Apache 2, mods available alias conf and remove the following lines as shown in the example in the video. To disable the version string, which Nix usually sends, update the configuration file, which is generally located at, etc. Nix, jinsconf and add to the HTML section as shown in the first screenshot. To also disable that the server name is sent, you need the Hattersmere module. Run the following command S for the installation, as shown in the second screenshot. For other systems, such as CentOS or RHEL, you must compile the package from the sources described in the installation notes. Then also, add the following line, as shown in the video, to the config file within the HTML section, and choose a server name of your liking. The IS server also will expose its version in HTTP responses. Microsoft provides Erlskin, which may be used to remove server information from HTTP responses sent by IS. Erlskin requires II6 metabase compatibility to work. Additionally, the configuration made to IIS is global. If you would like to set up this configuration on a site-by-site -site basis, check out the Erlskin setup article by Microsoft. Enable metabase compatibility. Find out how to enable Metabase compatibility using Microsoft's Installing Metabase Compatibility Support article. Install Erlskin. Open the Erlskinini file with a text editor. The file is typically located in the Windows System Eternals directory. Search for the key Ream Observer header, which by default is set to zero. Set the worth to one to remove the server header. Try Crashdesk Security today to discover how it integrates into your development stack for efficient, automated vulnerability scanning. The trial is free. Also, subscribe to the Crashdesk Security channel to get more information about the most significant web security threats, their prevention, and how to use the Crashdesk Security Suite. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.